There you go. Mm -hmm. there. Good morning. This is Tom Woodall, ESL levels three and four. This is our fourth day of class. It is Thursday, September 27th, 2012. Today we're going to talk about the five topics. Okay? The five topics. These are the five things I want you to think about very carefully this quarter. Because we will, they will come up again and again and again every day. They're part of what I want you to learn. Okay? So, the five topics begin with the three rules. Okay? So we have three rules. What Okay, what are the three rules? Make mistakes. Why? Because we all make mistakes. So it's a good thing to do. Practice. Rule number two. Why? Well, it's very, very important. Very important. Why is it important? For example, is um, I talking other person, I the other ideas, ideas. Right, you get new ideas. Yeah, different. Different ideas, different ways to think, because each person knows something that the other person does not know. So we help each other. We all learn better, right? Absolutely. Yeah, it's, it's better. Good. Okay. Rule number three. He's uh, learning everybody's name. Learn everyone's name. Learn everyone's name. Very important, this stuff, okay? The most beautiful sound in any language is your own name, okay? Especially if the pronunciation is correct, right? Okay, so I will practice. You will practice. All right, so the three rules. Now, we also have four agreements, and we'll talk more about this. I haven't talked so much today, but I will talk about this more. The four agreements. Listen actively. What's that? Listen actively. Okay. Listen actively. Okay, listening is not just sitting here letting the information come in. It's actually participation with the speaker to get understanding. When someone is speaking, you're giving them 100% of your attention. Okay? You're not thinking about what's for dinner tonight, what did, you know, what are we going to do after class? It's all about what is the person talking about at this moment. And it's not just me, it's when another student is talking, okay? When anyone in the room is speaking, you are really listening careful to understand. And we listen with our eyes, and we listen with our ears, and our mind, and our heart. We want to get comprehension. That's participation, active listening. It's a do, it's not a be. Second one. Appreciate each other. Appreciate. Okay. Each one of you is different. All of 
us bring something special, strong, power to this room. That power together makes us strong. Now, you may think, you may say something that I do not agree, okay? I don't agree. But if I'm listening careful, I will understand you. I may not, still not agree, okay? But if I understand you, what you are saying when you are talking, then the communication is stronger. If I'm listening, I can hear you. You are coming from some place. You act what you say, what you do, what you think and believe has a reason, okay? I cannot understand your reason unless I'm listening very careful to you. I do not have to agree, but I must not say anything that makes you feel bad. If I put you down because of who you are or what you think or what you believe, then I am wrong. I am not appreciating you. Fourth agree third agreement? Respect each other. Respect each other. If I am listening to you very carefully, and I appreciate what you are saying and who you are as a person, what is strong about you, what do you give to the class, what your power is, then I am respecting you. Again, respect is an action, it's not a condition. I can think, oh, I really respect her. But if I'm not showing my respect by listening and appreciating, then she does not know I respect her. So it's an action. And number four. Uh, no, no, I don't know. I must. No, no, okay. No means no. What does no mean? No. It does not mean yes. It does not mean maybe. It does not mean okay, okay. If someone says no, that's, that's all. Okay? If they say no, they have a reason. If I'm listening very carefully, very actively, I know that I hear the no. If I appreciate that you have a reason why you say no, then I will respect you and I will accept that you say no. Why do you say no? Not my business. I don't have to know. Not my, not my business. Not your business, okay? Just say, okay, that's no means no. Okay, you have the power to say no. Now, no can be difficult. So if it's difficult, you don't want to say no, we can say... I pass. So we're going to do something in the class, and you don't want to do it, for whatever your reason is, I don't know your reason. You just say, I pass. That means, no, I'm not going to do that. Go to the next person. Okay, I'm, I pass. Okay. So those are the four agreements. If you do this and I do this, we are together strong. Very powerful. Learning will happen. Okay? You will learn. My opinion. Okay, so we got four agreements. Then we have five dichotomies. Five. 
Five dichotomies. Don't look it up. Don't worry about it. Dichotomy means it is this or it is that. Okay? It's not both. So, someone with the paper, what are the five dichotomies? Okay. <laughs> What's that? Be and do. Okay? Verbs. Okay, the verbs either are a condition or they are an action. Be is a condition. Do is an action. Okay? So when we talk about an idea, is the idea a condition or an action? Okay. What else? Um, Other? Um, the positive and negative. General. Okay, so positive and negative. In the grammar, a sentence is going to be a positive sentence or a negative sentence. Okay, an idea will be a positive idea or a negative idea. They're two different things, but they're part of the language. So we think about, is that a positive or a negative? It helps with the understanding. It also helps with the grammar. Because a negative sentence is different than a positive sentence. Okay. And? General or specific? This is a big one. Again, we're talking about ideas. Okay, so when you are expressing an idea, you are talking about some topic. It's going to be general or it's going to be very specific. When it is general, it has very little meaning. When it is specific, it has much meaning. Example, the dog. The dog came into the room. Okay, so that's a general. What dog? Uh, okay, that's general. If I say the big dog came into the room, that's getting more specific. If I say the angry big dog came into the room, that's much more specific. Okay, the big angry hungry dog came into the room, okay? That's getting more specific information. The big brown angry dog, okay? Each piece of information gets more specific. It has understanding the idea I understand more. These two ideas are very important. Another one? Uh, singular and plural. Okay, singular. One. Only one. Plural. One, many, two. More than one, yeah, two or three or four or a hundred thousand, right? Mm -hmm. Plural. So these are the nouns. These are the verbs, right? Another one. Okay, we have one, two, three, four. Oops, okay. Well, okay, these are. Cases. I would call them your six dichotomies. Not cases. Cases. Cause and effect. Okay, so cause is the reason something happened. Effect is what happened, okay? So if you think about cause, because, because is the answer to the question why, the reason. 
discuss. Okay, this is the reason. The effect. Okay, so the big brown, the big brown, the big ugly brown angry dog came into the room and I was afraid. Okay, I was afraid is the effect. Why was I afraid? The cause, because the big brown ugly dog came in and made me afraid. Okay, so the reason I am afraid is my is the cause. The effect is what I feel. Bad example, but good enough. Give me one more. Time and space. I love that one. Okay. Now this one is really not a dichotomy. Because it's it's different. Time and space. Right? What is time? Past, present, future. If you think about the idea, the condition or the action happens in time. The verb shows the time. Okay? So for the listener to understand, the listener must understand the time. That's why in the sentence, in the grammar, we have time. Now time is the same as space. Time is the same as space. Space is three dimensions. Okay, height, width, and depth. Okay, this room is three dimensions. Inside of the three dimensions is time. It's the same. Strange idea, but it's what they tell me. Okay? So, it's not an opposite because it's the same. I don't understand how to explain that. But I know that my grammar will show me the time. My sentence must show the time. The time is in the verb. Okay? Tense. Time, tense, aspect. Don't worry about that. Okay. So these are your dichotomies. Now, who are your six friends? Let's see. change to a different Let's see. Let's What was that? Who, who? What? what where, where? When? Why? How? Wish. I like a wish. <laughs> wish. Which one? Now. Six only. How? And which? Okay, so you're seven friends, all right? Yeah. Okay, so who, what, where, when, why, how? If you want comprehension, this is where it is. This builds the context. Every question on the CASAS test will have one of these questions. Okay? So we pay attention to these. They are not only on the test, they are also in the language. Who, person, people, what? Thing or idea? Where? Place or location? When? Okay, time, right. Why? Reason. Okay, we're getting back here. Okay, how? Action. Action. Action or condition, getting up to be and do. Which? Choose. 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 Choice, okay, which one? This one or that one? Okay, make a choice, which one? Choice. Okay, now, I got one more interesting group for you. Where am I going which to put is, it? Is the same, the, the choice? No. Which? Yeah, choice. Yes. Just choice. Oh, it's choose. You choose this or that. You. What is your choice? Oh, thank you. Now this is a nice one. You love this one. 